ImageLine recently released an update for FL Studio, giving the option to extract stem files from an audio file. In this video, we will make a comparison between the FL Studio stem files versus the popular and free online tool for separating stem files from Fader. We will start by heading over to the Fader website, where you can select stems on the first page to come to the stem extraction site. Then we have to select the song we want to upload and we will let it do its job of processing the file. Meanwhile, we will go into FL Studio as well, uh, where we will add a sound file into the interface and then we select extract stems from sample and it will start working as well. In FL Studio, this is done locally on your device, so it, the speed depends on the speed of your computer. On the Fader website, this goes quite fast. Normally, it will take between 1-2 minutes to extract a song of 3 minutes. And when Fader is finished, we can then download an mp3 of the file and pull it into FL Studio. And just for your reference, this is the file that we will be splitting. And now we have imported the stem files from Fader into FL Studio and we have the FL Studio stems on the top and the Fader stems here down. From FL Studio we have the drums, bass, instruments and the vocals. And from Fader we have the a cappella. The a cappella is basically the instruments without the vocals. And we have drums, basses and instruments and vocals on the last one. So we will make a comparison between the Fader stems and the FL Studio stems. I would say the sound is pretty much the same on the FL Studio stem file as you find on the Fader stem file. You have the same amount of artifacts and the files are pretty much the same. Next we will make a comparison on the bass extraction from FL Studio versus Fader. Also on the base, you can see that the results are quite similar. You have the same sound on both. I think maybe the FL Studio is a little bit more gritty. Next, we'll make the comparison on the instrumental track. So this is basically where you will find your guitars, your pianos, your brass, your synth, whatever. Let's see how they compare. Again, they are both on the same level. You have to be really good to hear any kind of difference in these two stem files. And now for the last part, we will compare the vocal stems on both. 
So having listened to all the different stem files, I think we can safely say that you can use the stem splitter in FL Studio and you will have equally good results as you will with, for example, Fader. And I suspect that they are using the same engine or, or there is some similarities between these two stem separators. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of stuff, if you like music production tutorials, VSTs. Feel free to subscribe, follow, throw me a comment. Until next time, take care.